Okay, what we're going to do now is basically we're having one target charge and we're having the other target oscillate. So the moving targets are the bad guys and once again the bullet accountability is not to shoot the stationary targets in the background as civilians. Now, that's a, a very, very nice optic, the Trigicon ACOD 3x24. Um, you'll notice on the one target when we go up there and get closer, I actually picked corners on it because it was by the civilian target in the background. So I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit and, and see how the optic and how my eye was going to react to the optic. Uh, this optic here has a solid uh, crosshair in the middle. Um, very very nice optic and I mean ACOGs are known for their durability and military usage. This right here was the charging target. I took two shots on center mass. I could easily see in the optic um, that the center mass was taken care of so this threat would have been eliminated. Now we'll go over and take a look at picking the corners on the other target. As this target indexed uh, past the civilian target um, I shot it first here. As it was going past that um, exit point, I shot it here. And then as soon as it crossed the leg on that stationary target, I shot it here. I shot it here, actually, and then I shot it here as it passed by the stationary target in the background. That's exactly what you want to practice for bullet accountability. Now, if you look at it from a tactical standpoint or even a sniper standpoint, um, our target made here. Um, would indicate that it have an arm and a shoulder so you can even practice your shots uh, with the visualization of the um, bad guy having a weapon in, in each arm as well and um, I haven't taken too many headshots just a few so far so um, the basic principle of it is center mass eliminate the threat take the shot that you know that you can make as your skill level goes up in your training you can call out headshots um, as a training coordinator um, or a partner in the activity.